decided to combine our daily devotionals with a reading plan through the Bible. So uh, we've called it 2020. 20 minutes for 20 months and you'll get right through the Bible. And you can start at any stage in the year. You can just hop along and join us because we'll give you the Bible reading plan uh, every single morning. And so today we begin with the book of Genesis and the book of Acts. It's going to require two chapters a day. And I'm recommending that you spend five minutes reading each chapter, uh, five minutes reflecting on them yourself, and then listening to this little uh, devotional to, to give you some uh, sort of pointer and revelation uh, to encourage you in your day. So why don't we hop right in? Uh, Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1, it says this, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, the earth was formless and empty and darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And for the rest of this chapter, it gives an account of the fact of God creating. And so what we see is that when God introduces himself, in the Bible, his word, he's not first introduced as father or king or redeemer or savior. He's introduced as creator. Uh, of, of all the things God could announce himself as, he says he's the creator. Well, behind me, this is I'm standing in my garden, is a, uh, are the rolling hills of the, the Midlands. And when you get up in the morning like this, you, you look at it and you've You've got to wonder about the, the magnificence of creation and, and how God did it. Well, this is the fact that the Bible doesn't tell us how he did it other than he spoke. Uh, but it does tell us that he did it. So a lot of people have fought about, uh, you know, how many days he took to create uh, actually the 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 mechanisms with which he created. But the Bible uh, gives room for a variety of interpretations of that. And so in, in Genesis 1, the, it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. And then it's only the next verse that it goes to specifics of what God created. And so many people have said there could be a massive gap between Genesis 1-1 and Genesis 1-2. In other words, God created the earth it was formless. It didn't have much shape to it. And it could have gone for eons before uh, he started putting form to it. And so uh, I don't think it's helpful to, to get into fights as to the mechanisms of creation because the Bible leaves that open. But what we one thing we are certain of, God spoke, God created. Now, in verse 26 of this chapter, uh, God says, let us create man in our image. And so we made in the image of God. And in the very essence of the image of God is his creative ability. And so the same spirit that hovered over the waters is in you as a believer. The same spirit that was involved in creation is in you as a believer. Isn't that an incredible thought? That the creativity that was behind the origins of the cosmos is available to you. Any obstacle, any problem, any uh, thing that stands in your way, you have the creative uh, source of the universe residing in you, His Holy Spirit. And now, when we flick over to Acts, and we're going to start reading through the book of Acts at the same time as Genesis. And, and why? Because in Genesis, God creates the heavens and the earth. In Acts, God creates his church. Very interestingly, in Acts chapter 1, verse 4, Jesus says, now you go and wait in Jerusalem until my spirit comes. You see, his Holy Spirit is involved in the origins of the church, in the creation of the church, just as he's involved in the creation of the world. And so uh, I'm going to suggest as you reflect on these texts in Genesis 1 and in Acts chapter 1, ask the Holy Spirit, who, if you are a believer, is in you, to open your eyes and to see with new creativity, new lenses, what God's plan is for you.